Well, we're, we're back on our morning walk and we're down by the uh, willows. There's a little, like, like a little willow copse. And we're down by the little willow copse. Now, last September, they dug some ponds. And in a normal year, these ponds would be full of water and uh, we've had a very very dry month uh, it's one of the sunniest on i think it's officially the sunniest on record there's been more sunshine um this may than at any any recorded time in history in some places it's been the driest month on record and and here you can see the effect that it's had uh in swansea now i was thinking wasn't it great to have some rain and in my garden uh, w without the rain I've taken my hose pipe and I've watered but I've only watered the things I like I've only watered the plants that I value and the plants that I didn't value I left them alone uh, but God is not like that and Jesus uh, ponders on that and brings an illustration out of it and it's, in, it's a very, very famous sermon he preached, a uh, very famous message, the Sermon on the, on the Mount. And uh, he says this in Matthew chapter 5. You've heard it that it was said, love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who persecute you. So that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward do you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even the pagans do that? Be perfect therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. But he, he points out that in some ways, God is indiscriminate in the basics of life and the goodness of life God is indiscriminate and God shows love and grace and kindness uh, to those who are his enemies and those who are his friends and he calls on us to do the same and to love and to care for those that uh, are our enemies and this is a particularly uh, relevant isn't it when we see what's going on in America and what we see what's going on around us w we would like to be able to pick and choose who we value pick and choose who we love and pick and choose who we care for uh, but God doesn't allow us to do that God wants us to be like him perfect and he wants us to love and care for and be gracious even to our enemies it's a lovely little video. Uh, it's by a comedian. He has a late night show in America called James Corden. And it's a video. And in that video, he talks to his dad. And his dad's a Christian. I'll try and find a link to it. And uh, if I can, it'll be somewhere around this video. And if you can link on it and watch it, I think you'll be encouraged and blessed by it. He speaks God's word into a very needy world. And that's what we need to do as well. Well, today from my friend who's got the hurry up have a good day and god bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace you ready for home come on